Welcome back to Into the Odd. We've been uh, wandering around this mansion, trying to find where we're going to go next. I was just about to try coming down here. I can certainly hear somebody down below us. Uh, I'm going to try Rivera. I just hope I can grab onto it. It's quite a way down. Uh, they look strange. They have very odd legs. Uh, maybe it's just an odd pose. What are they doing? They're, they're stopping and... Are they playing music? I don't seem to be turning around. There's... Oh, there's something else there. Something else there with a harp. Oh, there's a robot with a harp. Is it? Yeah, it looks like a child of Karras. With the harp. Another rope arrow, good. I think that's another fruit. Very good. But this doesn't give me a way forward. So... Back up. Ah! So much for uh, that fruit. Come on. <laughs> and one foot wide beams to mantle up. On and almost over. Uh, we'll see. That was the only way I hadn't been yet. I thought. So I thought that was the way I had to go. So now what? Check your map and objectives. I'm told. Uh, okay. I mean, my objectives are the same. And the map hasn't changed. So, uh. I'm still supposed to be finding my lockpicks among the underground aqueducts, which are miles away. Maybe there's somewhere else in here I missed. That door. I, mean, I can try breaking it down. Seems a little. Wow. Didn't even wake him up. Be a uh, very sound sleeper. Oh. And stuck in the floor. You're right there, mate. Why are you sleeping on the floor and not on the bed? It's much, much better to sleep on the bed. To the most esteemed something shipper, distinctus professor of ancient languages, lodging at the Blue Heron Inn, greetings. Allow me the pleasure of introducing myself. As both paymaster and exchequer of the worshipful company of Medulian Mercers, I am a man of wealth and of a certain influence, but also a lover of antique history. However, a builder forgive my lawlessness, even as versed in the mercantile arts of polyglottism, an ancient clay tablet I sought to translate for my own personal pleasure showed signs it wasn't likely to be unriddled with ease, and the need to call for the services of a wise man well versed in the forgotten languages quickly aroused. Then a most pleasant surprise awaited me. The man behind the Codices Mundi Antiquaries and all sorts of treaties on paleography and fragmentology was visiting our fair city. I put the highest faith in your most excellent abilities to speak odd and forgotten languages to help me decipher this mysterious tablet. I hereby wish to invite you and humbly extend this hospitality to both of your apprentices that accompany you to come to my very kind estate Evetide to dine. 
but please do note that my hospitality doesn't stop at mere pleasure of the belly and the throat, for I can also provide a settled and bridled palfoir for the long walk to its south quarter and shalebridge, and fresh linen bed every day, and fresh straw for your apprentices, for each day of your stay, if the need must arise. As a fellow lover of fine literature, I am sure that long ago you discovered without many a regret that through all the anarchy and barbarism into which the city was plunged during the leaden years, many of S. Perry's precious books were robbed from this world. I, however, happen to have secured four volumes containing the unfinished works of the master himself. If you were to accept both my hospitality and my small request, I trust that you'd find not only my humble home as comfortable, if not more than, the throngful inn you bedwelt, but also a re real treasure trove of lore and knowledge. So, humbly craving for your visit, I humbly take leave. 28th month, Roman numerals. Yours most humbly affectionate, Gisbert Bulnerbridge. Unvaluable specs. Ah, valuable tiara. I, do, I assume there's a key or a way to get in here without breaking the door down, but, uh, you know. I'll do what I'm going to do. Well, this is just his bathroom. With a very modern looking toilet and cistern, really. If that's what that's supposed to be. Maybe it's just metal work. Uh, okay, so. I mean, who's that? Is that from him or to him? Oh, I guess maybe. Because this is not, this is not an inn, surely. No blue hair and ear on here. Is there? Not Bastion. Sorry, B. Oh, it's a very fancy clock. Alright, well, I mean, that didn't. They got me a tiara and a tiny bit more backstory, but not any progress. So that door which I cannot break down, so. Uh, still stymied by it. Looking around, I guess. See if I miss things. Oh, I haven't been out here at all. Yes, I, I remember this door before. All right, this does look. Actually, let's see how it's here. This does look like it goes some. Sir, the merchants are being evacuated. They took shelter inside your mansion as they wished. The maids are serving them mulled wine as compensation for the inconvenience. What was all that? right. Have your men patrol the ward and be on the lookout for anyone suspicious. Stupid. I want every stolen and caravan guarded. And don't let your men's grubby fingers touch anything. I hear one story about a missing ware or a looted money box, and it's not your salary I'll cut, but your ears. Yes, sir. And another thing. The Eastern Embus tricks mustn't know of this. Make it look like it's a training exercise. And if blood has to be shed, let it be far from under my windows. And make sure that no commoners get in the upper floors with a golden eggs are on display. Builders gold. Why today of all days? As you wish, sir. The objectives. Snatch holes, lockpicks. Oh no, we've seen that one. You aren't as unlucky as you thought. You found your way into one of the most well guarded wards. Don't leave until you get at least twenty five hundred worth in loot. It seems the local market master got himself an interesting gift. Get this golden egg. All right, um... Oh, it's a very unprepossessing entrance to this very strange mansion there. I didn't get a chance to read that. It's not the same... Woman who saw me through the window during the conversation. Yes. Maybe. It looks like a guard, actually. Could be the same person. Uh, 
Hmm. Interesting hat there, sir. With a spike that floats free. <coughs> so, just kind of see it sneaking out past his body as I move around. It's like an attached spike on top of his helm, okay. Alright, so I finally have a way forward. Though I don't know where to. Let's try knocking out this other guy as well, I think. Sorry. This lady. Oh, there's a sign there. I will read it and find out what this place actually is. She also has the spiky hat. Yeah, very nice. Master Balnabrook. Paymaster and ex-checker of the Worshipful Company. Blah, 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 blah. The Worshipful Company of Medullion Mercers. Please ring bell and wait. I can't ring the bell, sadly. Where are we now? Uh, well, I can't. Wait, who? He's a paymaster and exchequer. There was a comment about the market master. So it must be. Maybe we must come out in this area somewhere. I guess. Baby crates, cute little baby crates. More bloody. Are you coming this way? Let us hope not. That's a nice little, uh. Someday I'm not gonna be a guard. Who's there? Nice little water arrow stand. He got a nice feather in his hat. Sorry, I kind of didn't see him, didn't hear him, thought I was alone in here and uh, rushed him kind of out, mostly out of panic. In case I was getting caught by surprise. I don't know. Money, best of all. No one here at all. And I give course it's broad daylight again. Hmm. Maybe we can get there from a different direction. The gold bug. Today's menu appetizers, braised octopus and gabble wings. First course, asparagus soup with fresh cream. Second course, grilled hare served with couscous, honey sauce and thyme. Dessert, cœur de mambeur au pommeau. Spoon, baklava, biscuit raisins, etc. Very, very uh, small but intricate architecture. A full and authentic account of the life and cruel actions of Ogroff, better known as the Mad Mutilator, who was tried by the judges of Pavlok and sentenced to be broken alive upon the wheel for cruelly mutilating and dismembering several plowmen and pilgrims. To which is added the trial of Charles Brunswick and his sons, 
for the murder of cruelly beating and starving their servant maid. Well, I hope they get what they deserve. Yeah. Walk around, clank. Nope, some of the sword. She doing? And wasn't that same guy, the guy we saw? There? Probably not. Oh, there's probably nothing up there anyway. I'm gonna wait for that guard to come back. So you've gone back already. All right, where are you? Not here. Where the hell did he go? Just one move, Tapper. How about that move? Is that a good move? Heads are gonna roll now. Yeah, yours. I need some shadow. Hello, oh, sorry. I need some shadow. Oh, it's not good enough. Take that. Here, all right. I know where I am now. I think I can lose him. <laughs> Going around in circles. Uh, well, at least uh, this is. Navigable in the opening section where I was getting murdered all the time. Sorry, mate, I don't know who you are, but uh, I'm really mean to. I guess you're selling fish. This guy's gonna be back. So I'll try to say hello. You're, you're cheating, you know? You're cheating, mate. Alright, uh... Hey, get up! There's a thief in the... Oh, hell. <laughs> there is a thief in the... Oh, hell, indeed. <laughs> Uh, 
A most complete treaty on choriodermitism, vulgarly known to the masses as chronicle mucuses, or the means of curing this dreadful malady through touch pieces and charms. Which dreadful malady would that be? <laughs> oh, oh, I'm gonna stand on there. Nobody's been offering money to the saint. Or leaving money there for me to find. <laughs> Willem Stuckelberg of the Deer, Market Master. Encroaches shall be shot on sight. Market Master, huh? That's the south. Aha! We are here, so finally... Finally I have my bearings again. So I guess I was running in these circles. And I must have come out of, I think, up here? All right, so back on the map. This is a fancy mansion indeed. Let's eat all the food we can find. Okay, hit point or two. Oh, you might as well stay there, fishmonger. Nothing in your barrels. <laughs> You have carpet on top. Oh, hello. Hmm. Oh, hello. Well, I could get in there, couldn't I? Nope. Oh. Not very happy about that. Because... Ah! Well, there we go. <sighs> A ledge that is too... Look at this. Look at this structure here. That's not safely mantelable. If you get it just right, if you get it just right, it might work, but uh, it's been designed for looks and not for playability. <sighs> hmm, what am I going to do about that? I mean, what I could do, let's leave that rip arrow. Let's go for this window. I can get on that rope, jump across to this stone thing here. I mean, maybe I could get up to it in some other way anyway. Um. Oh! Good, good, good work there. Well done, guy. Clearly there's another way in here, from somewhere. Oh, uh, come back. Come back to all that. Oh, hello, flute. <laughs> I'm going to reload because I don't like taking damage from bad mantling, but... I was thinking is I could maybe jump... Oh, that one mantles. All right. But it's purely a fluke, really, that that one mantles, because it's the same structure. Yep. <laughs> and it's barely wide enough to stand on. However, I'm here now. I'm going to actually make a hard save, because... I'm going to do a quick save. Um... I'll grab that later. Well, I guess they're upstairs. Don't, don't see me.
does it sound like they're right behind me? I guess because they're right above me. This is good. There they are. Safe that doesn't appear to open unless there's a secret switch somewhere. Which I don't see. Aha! Under the skull. What do we got? Money? Um, inquiry on potentially undesirable elements that might leak in Yeoman's Market. The Cripple King. Beggar Prince of Grime Falls. Presides over paupers, slaves, and petty thieves from his court near the old incinerators. Tithe pinchings, purse nipping, counterfeiting, letters of arms and passes. Tricks and cheateries, known to mutilate his men to inspire more pity from the honest citizen. Just a skull. Get back here, you coward! Ah, oh dear. I didn't mean to wake you up. I'm sorry. I didn't really remember. I didn't stop to think it would go clink so loudly. Don't make me jump by you. You know, it would save us both a lot of trouble if you did. But I suppose I'm not really well equipped to deal with you if you do come find me. Alright. Does this give me access to the other window? Or was that... wait a second. Before I forget I should go collect my other rope arrow, right? Be right here. Good. Now it's a bathroom. Keep my Honking noises in here to myself. <laughs> Aha. Get into the drain. Where will this take me? Does this take me to the sewers? Oh, hello. Careful now. Broadhead arrow. Oh right. Uh, that's just the street outside. <laughs> ah yes. Okay. It's a way out, but not a way in. Masters. It's like, you've got a chair here? Is that just like for sitting in? I realize that this is the drain. There's another one of those mirrors. Uh, 
the tray that's been stretched and placed upright. I can't remember which... There was one author in the previous contest that used those everywhere for mirrors. Here it is again. I don't know if this is the same author, because this one's anonymous. Um, but I can't even remember who that was, so yeah, it could be the same person. But Wait, something. how did you get there? Did he fall down? <laughs> okay. Come out and fight me. Yeah, I don't really want to come out and fight you. You know what? Look, there's this little, uh, tiny little lamp. I don't know what it is. It's been turned into a helmet spike. No one's gonna find it there. Uh, yeah, he must have fallen down while hunting for me, so, um... I guess I can try and get up there. Relatively safely. Ah, more wood. More wood. Which will probably be difficult to mantle onto, but uh, well, try it. Very, very fancy interior. <laughs> Carpet. My God. I can run and jump. Oh, there's another floor. <laughs> Very narrow mansion, really. Maybe, uh, to market master himself is a very narrow-minded person. Right, just go around in a circle. Nice mask. It's a stairway. Hmm. I can't pick this lock without my equipment. Yep. Quite right there, Garrett. Well, we know an easy way back in here at least, so uh Why don't I try jumping across now, back to this tower, and seeing where that takes me. Success, I didn't die. I'll take that. And that, I what used to have a speed pushing, I'm not sure, but... Uh, oof. All right, where? I don't know if I can get up there. Can't see any way to. Where are we and where are we going? Uh, we, I guess we're just here in the bastion. So, two underground aqueducts rope arrows needed. There's like an arrow there in the latrine, but the door didn't open. So, I guess we go all the way back to the start. food? No. Pornocratia or the rule of hearts. so many pagan healing fruits around. 
it may be suspicious. I'll take that. Don't think, can I fit through here? Feels a bit too narrow. That's where I came in. Which way am I going? North. <laughs> ideally. Well, I can get down to the street there. I think I've been in that part of the street, haven't I? Well, I'm in that part of the street now. <laughs> yes. I read that. Right, yes, here's the front of the manor, and then this is where I was running in circles. North and east, alright, so this is... Well, now I'm not being chased. I should scout the street, I guess, for... Uh... Any unwanted valuables? Well, I think I think it's probably clear of them. Yeah. All right. Just ran in a circle. I guess we're here, coming up to this gate. So that was where they were waiting for me before. Hello. <laughs> Sword. Oh, that could be useful. There's the gate. We will be able to uh, hopefully go back and deal with all those thugs who were trying to deal with us before. There's a guard, an archer. Thug. So maybe the thugs have all thug it off. <laughs> Still, there's people around. I should be at least cautious. What arrow, nice. Oh, hello. Guard with a sword. Is this the right way? No, that's, that's the wrong way. Yeah. Sorry about that. Wait, is this the right way? Oh, sugar. No, clearly not the right way. <laughs> that is the way to the latrine, but, uh,. Your enthusiasm is, uh... Come out and face me. 
Remarkable, yeah. but uh... <laughs> Damn, where'd he go? We'll find you soon enough. I didn't even see you. For you. As soon as I find you, you're dead. If you hadn't yelled, you would have got the drop on me. Fight arrows. Water arrows, moss arrow. It's gotta be away in there. Where was he hiding? Oh, he's just standing there, all right. Oh, he's got one of those newfangled horrible helmets too, just to make it impossible to knock him out. Good, good. The indisputably best addition to uh, Thief 2, right? Oh. oh no, he can be knocked out. Does look like one of those helmets though. I don't, don't really know why I tried. I probably shouldn't have tried thinking it wasn't possible, but I uh, guess I was lucky. And I can't break in there without my lockpicks yet. Looks like they dealt with the thugs for me. Alright. Oh, up to the underground. What? Up to the underground. What? That, you know, makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Alright, up to the switch to open it. <sighs> good work, good, good, excellent work there, guy. Uh. Let's try that again. Try not to die, Garrett. Yeah, not like that. Who would have thought? Who would have thought a little thing like this would be uh, so annoying? I've got eight of them. I might as well just leave it there. Leave the red bar. I'm just so used to taking them with me. But uh, it will be less, less problematic just to leave it. All right. it goes down here too. Now. The underground aqueducts. We've been trying to get here for a very long time. Alright, um, it's a bit early but I think I will end the episode here because it seems like a really good stopping point. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.